and a juvenile, really close to the path here. We're sneaking up on them. Searching for the rainbow pitta was a great experience, certainly. I got to visit my first monsoon rainforest, so I loved visiting different habitats. It was kind of interesting to see how clear the understory was. You know, there wasn't much vegetation in there, but as colorful as the rainbow pitta is, it still actually blend in. It almost looked black underneath that canopy, so being able to find them, it was neat. It, it, it actually took a lot of effort to, to get that bird. We've just seen three pitters very close to us here. We're sitting next to this quiet brook. One of the best ways to get good looks at these pitters is to sit very quietly and tap in the ground like this. And these pitters are fairly curious. Now they'll hear that tapping, they'll think that other birds are foraging in the area, and they'll come in for a closer look. So let's see if this works. Oh, there he is. Oh, great, he's coming closer. See him coming on the ground there. Hopping for a closer look. There he comes. Oh, man, look at that. Awesome, great views. These birds are very skulky and wary, and it was very tough to get them to sit in one place for any period of time. So we've been looking for this little blighter for two days now, just searching through the forest here. We've had very brief glimpses, the birds flying away, we saw a juvenile briefly for a minute, and it's been really, really tough to find this bird. Andy says it's a lot easier in the dry season. We are at the end of the wet season right now and these birds are very quiet and they're very tough. But we finally, today, close to Fog Dam, have got just absolutely killer views of our golden bird, the rainbow pitta. Thanks very much Andy, that was awesome. We just had cracker views of this rainbow pitta sitting in the tree and you can see exactly why it's called rainbow pitta. I mean every colour in the rainbow, we had yellow on it, green, bright blue, nice red in the rump. Absolutely spectacularly coloured bird, but very cryptic and difficult to find. Our golden bird, the rainbow pitta. It was quite good fun. Uh, I've never had to film the rainbow pitta, I've only had to show people the rainbow pitta. I think in the last two days we've probably seen 30 to 50 rainbow pitta. I've certainly learned he's a hard bird to film. As you've seen, he's quite common here, and I've certainly learnt a little bit about him myself, having spent this much. Uh, concentrate a focused time with that bird, bringing my knowledge up on the bird. I'll certainly know where to find the uh, more human friendly ones uh, the next time I've got birders. We've certainly figured that out on this trip. The top end of Northern Territory truly was top notch. The laid back and flexible attitude of the people, the stunning scenery and the broad spectrum of bird life made a truly unforgettable trip to Australia.